Greetings and welcome to Hidden Scriptural Truths Revealed. This now deals with the tragic things that were learnt and adopted during the Babylonian exile. Actually, the scriptural rot started 2037 years before the 1611 King James Version came into existence that was infiltrated by the Jesuits. During the, during the exile in Babylon, many bad things were learnt and were transported back to Yashorel by Ezra and Nehemiah in 426 before the common era. Before their return, the name YHVH Yahuwah was in daily use for salutations. For example, May Yahuwah, my master, etc. 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 In the Lakish letters on seven messages with salutations, Yot He Vav He appears eleven times. There are many other proofs found concerning this fact, dating to a time before the Babylonian exile. They learned that the name of any supreme deity was not to be known by the general population for fears of infiltration at night. This became the work of the scribes and the method they used to hide the name follows on after explaining the role the scribes played. Yahusha radically attacked the scribes in Matthew chapter 23 verses 13 to 33. They were originally people that kept records, wrote documents and became public administrators of high standing. Over the centuries they became experts in the law of Moshe. They established an honored tradition and were sometimes known as wise men. They were called to give legal and theological opinions such as formulating how much work could be done on the Sabbath. Once a pupil completed his course of study, he was declared a scholar, the scribe his teacher, laid hands on him, and now he had authority to answer questions, discuss the law of Moshe, was called rabbi, and could wear the long robe of a scholar. These post-exilic -ex scribes, the custodians of the sacred text, <coughs> the name Yehuda, Yahuwah, was substituted for Adonai in 134 passages in the Old Covenant Scriptures. The official list is in the Masora and can be emailed to you on the quest. Later on, they substituted Hashem or YHVH. In the Talmud, we find the instructions that the name Yahuwah was to be forbidden, and in another place we read to be kept secrets, and an, and again disguising it. They did exactly as prophesied in Yerim Yahu, Jeremiah 23, 26, and 27. They <coughs> to cause my people to forget my name. This reading naturally was kept out of the Haftorahs. The Koran edition of the Tanakh printed in Jerusalem states in the foreword that in all other editions the name JHBH is printed with Nakud, that is vowels, which may mislead the reader to read this name as it is forbidden to do. Again, their fear, J H, not Y H. Perhaps Proverbs chapter thirty verse four, written not before one thousand B C E, and not after two hundred B C E, could pose this question: What is his name, and what is his son's name? Hidden. The name. YHVH was banned and could only be used by the high priest once a year on the Day of Atonement. 
This banning was enforced during the time of our Hamashiach. Luke chapter 19 verse 38 Blessed be the king that comes in the name of Yahuwah. Verse 39 And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said to him, Master, rebuke your disciples. The reason being, they had used the forbidden name. Yahusha did not follow their non-scriptural tra traditions and used his father's name. Luke chapter 4 verse 17 to 20 They handed him the scroll of the prophet Yeshayahu, Isaiah. He unrolled it and read chapter 61 verses 1 and 2. The Spirit of Yahuwah is upon me. And again in verse 19 To preach the acceptable year of Yahuwah. In verse 20 And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. He had read the band name twice. Again, this scripture is not in the Pentateuch and again is hidden. Yochanan, John chapter 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name, in verse 26, and I have declared unto them thy name and will declare it. <coughs> then these post exilic scribes started on the names beginning with YHV, changing the name of the old covenant leader, Yahusha, the son of Nun, to Yeshua. In Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 17. For since the days of Yeshua, the son of Nun, the Yah removed, and his credit as well. Ezra chapter 3 verse 2 Then stood up Yeshua, the son of Zodak. He was the first high priest after the exile. His correct name being Yahusha, with a YHV, is confirmed by two prophets, where the scribes slipped up. Haggai chapter 1 verse 1 And in chapter 2 verse 2 And also in Zechariah Zachariah, chapter 3 verses 1 3, 8 and 9 and chapter 6 verse 11 <coughs> The post-exilic -apo -apo apostasy really got going with the return of the tribes of Yehuda, Judah, Benjamin, the Levites and the Helpers. They obliterated the pre-exilic names of the calendar months to Chaldean pagan names. Ethanim became Tishri, Abib became Nisim, Bull became Kislev, Zif became Zivan, etc. These books are found these are found names are found in the books of Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Zechariah. All back from Babylon. The highlight being June, July, the month of Tammuz, who was the reincarnation of Nimrod, the sun deity. He has pride of place being in the Jewish calendar and is not surprising that the abominations of Yitzchakor, Ezekiel, chapter 8, verse 14 to 16, are left out of the Haftorah readings. Verse 14, woman weeping for Thomas. And in verse 16, the priests with their backs to the altar of Yahuwah and facing east, worship their sun god Thomas. This is a total violation of the Torah. Devarim, Deuteronomy, chapter 12, verse 3. Destroy the names of them, their gods. Shemot, Exodus, chapter 23, verse 13. Make no mention of the name of other gods. Neither let it be heard out of your mouth. Esther's original name was Adasa, meaning myrtle changed to Esther derived from Istar the Babylonian female deity the scribes became so paranoid that when they came to list Psalm 15 
they would not use the letters Y H. Y <coughs> is ten and H is five. In case someone called it Ya Sam, they chose the letters for nine and six. They also changed the writing from the ancient Aramaic characters to the modern square type characters causing translation errors. <coughs> In 1611 the translators inherited Adonai, Hashem, Elohim and Jeshua and the Jesuits were excited. It is obvious that the name Yeshua is acceptable to the scribes, rabbis and Pharisees. So if, it, so if as some claim that Hamashiach's name was Yeshua. Then in Acts chapter 4 18 and in Acts chapter 5 verse 40 there would have been no banning of his name. It was acceptable to them, the name Yeshua. Only a name starting with the letters YHV was banned and still is today. Yahusha Hamashiach of Nazareth is our precious Messiah's name. <coughs> Can the name Yeshua be now finally put to rest? As the scriptures have proved, it could not have been his name. Hallelujah. Until next time.